similar sort of scenario. It was the payload potentially that looked great for FMC. Then again, we've only seen them on two maps, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see how Hanamura plays out. Exactly. That's all that this week is about, is seeing what we can see. We have no idea, really, because every single team, for them it is their first game of contenders this season. Different defensive setup for freshman class than what they have been running so far. Exerst his first time to be playing Doomfist today and in Contenders Season 3, maybe in Contenders in general. I don't really know how much he played it last season, to be honest. Kaimor, same to Sombra today as well. Contenders Season 3 is the same thing, though. Sounds a bit cooler. Sure. Well, they're going to go round to the right. High starting off on attack freshman class since they won the last map and did not pick this one. We'll get to pick side that will see hmm. them starting off on defense. And yep. back over the top with the Reinhardt join. Going to allow them to walk onto the control point to start things off. Let's see how that plays out for them for now. Not a bad point there in at all, but that shield is going down very, very quickly. Oh, Kaimo looking low, but Dalsu going to be the first one down. Locus looking low as well. This could be less than ideal for Heist. Such is the life of a support player. A good trade out though as Exhurst is dropped. It's a one for one. A little bit less healing right now for Heist than what they might be used to, but they are positioning themselves very, very nicely. What they want to be doing is fighting on this point with the composition that they have, and they're really forcing freshmen to try and beat them at their own game. And unfortunately for freshman class, they just do not have the setup to be able to do that. Needed to find the kills on the entry, but Heist able to walk in very, very safely through the high ground, and so far, just winning that war of attrition on the point. Virginia with the Primal Rage going to come back onto the point for a third and final time. Uh, inevitably going to go down, however. And Heist will be successful in their very first push here on point A. Yeah, once you get that GOAT's composition onto the point itself, it's just too much of a death ball composition to deal with. Exos needed to be finding picks. Kaimor needed to be finding picks. Uh, but unfortunately, they just don't have the room to work with on the point. And Heist able to take a fairly easy victory. Going up to the EMP right now for Kaimor. But the opportunity is there for Heist to open oh. this up before the EMP is out. Exos gets a crucial pick, however. It is indeed. If Heist can bait out a number of ultimates here and hold on to their own, the next fight for them could be a good one. Having said that, both Virginia and Prowl are going to go down, but Bad tries to stabilize and will be successful. Bus and Jungle Jazz going well, down there. But you can see six ultimates, a full house here for Heist. Pretty, pretty critical kill actually for Exos because I'm sure Heist would have uh, committed to that fight had they not lost the initial player. Now six ultimates available, but Kaimor is the perfect kind yeah. of a counter. EMP is now available, and you can see that Heist essentially are all sitting together on the right-hand side going up to the high ground. They did it the first time, they're going to go and do it He's a second spotted. time, but Kaimor will be able to pick up almost everyone there. Only Dooboy able to oh, use he the denied, in the nick He denied time. the beat! Jungle Jazz threw out the beat, but he got hacked at the most in unfortunate time. Kaimor, great work. Still a lot to play with, though, for Heist. Yeah, you can see the Coalescence coming oh. through. Heist throwing everything into this one. They want to win on Hanamura right here and right now. Exus in the back line trying to fight it through. Gusto finally takes him down, but not before two kills go the way of freshman class. Prowler 100%. picked up as well. Up to 50%, Jordan. Getting closer, ever closer. Kaimor back onto the point, trying to hack them out, trying to see what he can do. Going to get forced off. We'll have to translocate back into spawn. Heal up once again. Rally available again here for Dewboy. Urshatter coming through. Doesn't really do all that much. Continuing to push into the point. High staying alive for a very long time in this fight. Well, that's the sticking power of the GOATS composition. Kaimor will get another EMP up before the fight is even really over. High so far have only secured one tick, but another EMP out here for freshman class should result in them being able to have a bit more of a power play. There's another Meteor Strike fired out from Exus, dropping right on top of, well, nobody, and yeah. he gets stunned up by the Jew boy on that Brigida. Look, to Shield be honest, too strong. I thought more was going to come out of that one for freshman class. Heist continuing to stick onto the point, but they have oh, not progressed, Jordan. Since that 50.9% we saw them on before, now trying to do their best here. They're finding the picks, the picks they needed to take. They have invested a lot of ultimates, a lot of time into this fight. Almost at two-thirds right now, continuing to push through. Rally used once again by Dooboy, but no one is on the point. And Heist, that was only their second attack on the point B, Jordan. Well, they just yeah. stayed for <laughs> like three, three minutes in the end. In, in that fight, 
It was enough time for two EMPs to come out from Kaimor. It was enough time for two Graviton Surges to come out from Locust. Mm -hmm. So it lasted for such a long time. To be fair, I thought it was pretty poor execution from Heist initially. Locust completely whiffing with the grab. Uh, obviously, we saw Jungle Jazz getting hacked as well with the sound barrier not really being able to be thrown out. Not necessarily his fault, but a little bit risky to be throwing it out right next to uh, the Sombra. In the end, though, Heist, just with that staying power of the mm. GOAT's composition, are able to keep themselves alive in that fight long enough to get another rotation of those powerful ultimates that was enough to push Freshman Class over the edge. And now Freshman Class have such a big job to do here. 3 minutes 59 was the time bank there for Heist. And for Freshman Class, that's a pretty scary prospect. To be fair, it did feel like Exurst was actually playing that Sombra very well. Kaimo. Going out. Sorry. Swapping off, Matt. Going to confuse poor Sandman here. I see colors. I see colors. So, yep. coming out, translocating back across, healing up, going out again, doing what he can, and then building up that EMP charge. To be fair, it almost did win them that fight in the end. I'm actually surprised that they weren't able to pick up the, the, the win in that particular battle and reset. Yeah. Uh, heist and make the, I don't know. Have another like, go. At times, it almost feels like the EMP is just not enough to win a fight against the Goat's composition mm. because they have all of those tanks and the heals are still going to be coming out from the majority of the healers there for Heist. It just it, it doesn't feel like it has enough of an impact, you know? It obviously stops you from using your abilities, but when you're a Reinhardt, you can still run around and swing your hammer, which, let's face it, nine times out of ten in the middle of a fight is probably what you're going to be doing anyway. Yep. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see how this Sombra meta does develop. Exurst going to be taking that one on the defense here for freshman class. I'm oh, sorry, on the attack. No, uh, no Reinhardt shield available for from C. That's what we saw from Heist that got them across onto the point. Virginia instead deciding not to play with this anymore. Jumps into the point, ready potentially to jump onto the high ground should he need to. There you go, up on top. Going to try and force them off. Dubois going to be the first one to go down to Exurst. So that's a pick that FMC did want to take. Unfortunately, they're going to lose base guard as well. They're two-thirds of the way through. The, the picks are going in their favor as well here, Jordan. They may be able to get the point. Yeah, definitely. Bad is having a bit of a backwards and forwards with Jungle Jazz, who will inevitably win that fight, but he's put so low. An easy cleanup for Exerce, and he's cleaned up three in that fight. EMP is pretty much available for him, pushing into the second point. Freshman class will try to use that to their advantage. Right now, it's not going to be such a big deal. No ultimates available for Heist, but if you can throw it out before Jungle Jazz is able to use the Transcendence, actually might be enough to push freshman class through here. Heist really relying on that for their survivability, at least for now. They certainly are. They have a ton of time to work with, six and a half minutes. They can pick it up in the next two minutes, 30. They will be ahead of what Heist achieved. Here we go. EMP here on Exurst. Only a couple of players for Heist up there. Should be able to get a few though, however. Not going to be enough. Not going to find the Zenyatta. Base God has a trance of his own available. We'll pop that one out. Counter hack. Pushing through. There you go. The counter EMP coming out from Locust here on defense. You can see Bus and Gusto. Both those tanks have um, ultimates available here that might be able to slow this down just a little bit. But bad. Not a half bad uh, self destruct. Yeah, Dalsu also threw out the Nano Boost, which hasn't necessarily had the impact for Heist that he wanted it to. Dewboy continually getting picked off early on in these fights is a big problem for Heist. Oh, Freshman class have full control of the point right now. They might actually be threatening Heist with a faster time than their own. The Wrecking Ball on Gusto will do its best to get oh. onto the point, but is unsuccessful. Base God going to be the one picking up two kills there with the Zenyatta, and this is going to be an absolutely fantastic time for FMC. Five minutes, 37 seconds. Very impressive from them. Yeah, that was a uh, very, very poor defense in the end from Heist. Things seem to have gotten a little bit shaky for them uh, in recent times. Uh, ever since we saw a lot of, sort of the overtimes for Numbani, now things are looking a little bit worrisome actually for Heist. I don't know about uh, Dewboy on that Doomfist. Didn't necessarily seem to have as much of an impact as you would have liked. Could have had a little bit more sticking power with just the standard GOATS composition. That's what Freshman Class are going to be running here on their attack. We see they will have to... Oh, sorry, Heist will have to attack first. That's what Heist is going to be running on their attack. Uh, they have the lower time, which means they do have to pose the first attacking round. Still, four minutes is a lot of time. That's normally what you'd get to try mm. and push it to the first point. So... Plenty of time to work with here. 
And to be fair, they did a perfectly fine job the first time yep. around. They just really kind of sucked when it came to defense. For both teams, it is the defense that is failing them at the moment. And I feel as though it is just players getting picked off at inopportune times, which allows the GOATS comp to really just push in. It's the go signal. As soon as you see a player drop on the opposition team, you think, great, we have a 5v6. We will win this fight as long as we execute. Not terribly. Well, let's see how this one plays out for Heist coming out on the attack. They probably did not expect to be attacking first again here. Then again, they probably oh, didn't bust. expect to lose the last map either. That's not good for yeah, Heist. Yeah, first time around, Bus stayed alive. Now he's gone down. No big shield, no Reinhardt to help them get onto the point. And no one to really be able to help Reinhardt to actually get in either. So Bus is sort of left high and dry at the moment. Heist. We'll have to yeah, make something Exurs happen. but lurking. Exactly. Exus is going to be able to bully Bust so much, and he's actually even forced the swap off onto Winston, just so that Bust is, feels like he can at least get into a better position. Exus backing away now that he has been spotted. Dive composition a little bit more so now for Heist with that Diva, with that Winston, looking to find those engages. Yeah, all good time being wasted here by freshman class. This is precisely what they want to be doing here on defense. You can see Heist pushing back onto the point. Bust very low, will go down, but Virginia and Exus both being picked up. So it's a two for two trade here, as Dowsu found out by Prowlaw as well. Heist are on the point. They have control of it for now. It's freshman class poking at them from the high ground, but that's not going to stop the capture. Bad going to be forced in there with the mech. You can see that uh, the Nano is going to come through as well from base guard to see if, if that's going to be enough. Maybe Jordan will be with these respawns coming through. Perhaps the EMP now out from Kaimor as oh, well, and that is a big power play from Freshman Class. Self-Destruct will connect with one. Dewboy under so much pressure, and he'll drop as well. Freshman Class really only having to invest a couple of ultimates to defend, and Heist, they will be routed, and they will have to fall away. Two minutes and 17 left on the clock here for them. Starting to run out of time, starting to run out of options. They have come up with a couple of ultimates available to them, but similarly, Freshman Class Quite a bit available as well. Mm. That was actually uh, a very well-timed nano boost coming out from base god onto bad there. You can see the diva was very, very low, and if he'd gone down, that probably would have been the end of that fight. But for now, what can the Doomfist do? Meteor Strike looking for the Ana, looking for Jungle Jazz as well. But Jungle Jazz going to be able to pop the sound Chase. barrier, and Exa is going to be the one caught out. Heist now in a great position, pushing forward. Yeah, they certainly are. Freshman class have wasted everything on this defense as well. It has not worked out. Exus getting completely wrecked. The Brigida, such a problem for the Doomfist. As a Doomfist, you really don't want to be getting stopped in your tracks at all. His advantage is his mobility. And in this case, no mobility equals death. I was able to cap that one up. A minute 49 left on the clock. Still enough to be able to pressure onto the second cap. I don't really have a whole lot here, so an extended fight would be perfect for Heist. It'll allow their ultimates to come up around the midpoint of the fight. There's one defensive ultimate. Well, I say defensive ultimate. Base God with the nano boost is really only going to keep one player alive. It might be enough to find the openings mm -hmm. against Heist. Heist will have another push after this one, though. That's the beauty of it. They should not invest too much here unless they feel as though they have a big advantage that they can use. Virginia tanked down quite heavily. Heist once again going to use the Reinhardt shield to work their way through, but Bust going to get caught out there by Prowler. Quite expensive. As you said, Jordan, they managed to build up those ultimates, but it's not Focus. this fight that they're going to want to use them in. Exos will go down to Daosu, but uh, you'd say surely it's not enough, but for now it's looking to be enough here, at least for the moment. Self-destruct on defense from FMC. Not going to find anyone this time around. Pushes through. Continues to try and take these guys out. Heist. Ever closer, trying to find themselves in time and to the point. But Virginia will pick up Gusto with Locust going down as well. They'll stop them in their tracks. Now 40 seconds on the clock. Yeah. One last fight. I feel as though a little bit too much invested in there by Heist. Freshman class able to get so many early picks. And the ultimates were used by Heist to sort of turn the fight around in a sense. Make it back to more of an even footing. But that's not what you're supposed to use the ults for. At least not in this case for Heist. They need to be using ultimates to win the fight. If they would have just held on to all of them and put them into this fight here. I think Heist would have had a much better chance of actually finishing off all of the caps. But now, though, they're really relying on Bust with a big Earth Shatter and maybe Dalsu to follow up with a Nano Boost onto Bust. Look at this. Exus with the Meteor Strike looking for those oh. supports. Going to come down right in the middle of the tanks, actually. Bad going to go down. Dalsu low. Gusto point. looking low as no well. No one's on the point. But Everyone no one down. is on the point. Everyone was stuck down in the crevice. And unfortunately, not even really a strong attempt there from no. Heist.
to cap that second point. A little bit of a failure of the mechanics. No, not even the mechanics. I think more so the decision making for Heist. The issue there with the ultimates being thrown in when they weren't necessarily required or weren't necessarily going to be able to have the impact. In the end, still, one point capped up. Yeah. How can you hold that against five minutes and 37 seconds, though? I don't know about this one for Heist. Look, to be fair, we've seen a lot of a lot of teams hold out point B here for a very long time. The reality of the situation is, though, they've held out below 100%, mm. not below 33%, which is what Heist now have to do. Jewboy needs to be a little more careful this time. The Doomfist, ensuring that he does not get picked off. Freshman class and Heist, they're really just swapping strategies, playing the exact same thing. When they're on the defense as what their opponent did and vice versa on the attack. Are you any good at crane games? No, I've never... Well, I've definitely played them, but I don't regularly play them. Yeah, I'm not very good at that. Waste of money, in my opinion. Probably right, Jordan. Let's see what Heist can do. A lot of pressure on them, to be perfectly honest here, trying to hold onto this defense. How long can they hold point A? How long can they hold point B? This freshman class, they've got a roll on here, Jordan. They are looking for blood. If they can pick this up, they're going to be in a prime position. Two and one would be the lead heading into the fourth and potentially final map for them. Dalsu the just can't put out enough heals right now. Bust yeah. will survive for but a moment. Inevitably chased down by Bad. That was a good sleep dart onto that Diva, but it doesn't matter in the end as freshman class have really wiped the floor with Heist here on that first attack. It's worked out perfectly. Again, Sombra and the Doomfist defensive composition not working out this time for Heist. No, definitely less than ideal. They should be able to capture the point. They're going to have a ton of time on the clock now to head to point B. They only need one third, 33%, and that is enough for them. Exurst as well, going to have that EMP available very, very shortly. And uh, potential here, Jordan, for that to be enough to get them across the line to get that 33% and get them the victory. Yeah, glad that Dubois has actually swapped over onto the Brigitte. I do think that gives Heist a bit of a better chance than had he been on the Doomfist again here. Just still not feeling the effectiveness of the Doomfist against the GOATS composition right now. At least here on Hanamura. Locust does have the EMP. So does Exurst. Yeah, they are taking their time, Jordan. Maybe just waiting to use that rally. Everyone's together now. They will continue to push through. Exurst is the one on the point. Looking to try and get into the back lines. Use this EMP. Cause some damage. Be the first EMP out. And we'll see whether that's enough for them. They're going to battle it out on the point for now. Exos getting out of dodge. Base God going to use the trance as well. Going to keep everyone alive. Pushing through. But Gusto has that self-destruct. Gusto has found Virginia. And maybe this will be enough to slow down the first push here, Jordan. Yeah, both Zenyatta's not hit by the EMP. And that has kept both teams fairly comfortably alive. Highest outlasting freshman class a little bit here. They do manage to push them away, at least for the moment. Freshman class have to back out. They'll lose bad, and this is going to be a stagger. Not the end of the world for freshman class. They still have plenty of time to play with. Three minutes, 30 seconds to be precise. And eventually goes down. Yeah. But, okay, one unsuccessful push for freshman class. Let's not get too worried just yet. No, still so much time on the clock here. A tie here on this map, a draw, if this actually occurs, would be kind of a cool result, I think. Because mm. it would put us down to Dorado or Route 66, one map to play, both teams at one apiece. It's the best of one almost at that point. We don't often get to map four and have map four... Be uh, a decider. Yeah, be the decider. Yeah. The format normally doesn't allow for it, but this time around that could be the scenario. Gusto solo, d -Mech coming out from Bad Kai. Oh, the pick as well. This could be enough here, Jordan. Freshman class in prime position. They have found two big picks pushing on towards the point right now. Bad about to have a self-destruct available as well. EMP for Locus is coming. He's just respawned, and that might be enough to turn the fight around. Dewboy will drop to Virginia, however. And right now, the EMP thrown oh, out by man. Locus. Is it enough, though? Doesn't look like it. Freshman class have found too much of an advantage. And Heist, they're in dire straits now. 
Yeah, look, all these picks going in favor of FMC. The point is going their way. They just need 33%, and they will be successful. They pick up Hanamura here, Jordan. Was that four and three? Very impressive coming out from them. Wow. It, a lot of that really comes down to their first attacking phase mm. and how quickly they captured point B the first time around. I'm pretty impressed by freshman class mm. today. I thought Heist was going to be the one to win this series. Now it's definitely uh, leaning at least toward the side of freshman class unless Heist can pull some kind of a, a win out of the bag. If they, they win on Dorado or Route 66, of course, they can push us through to the tiebreaker. But right now, freshman class is definitely looking like the better team. Heist just making some errors. Uh, the the decision making with the ultimates coming out, some mechanical errors as well at times, and uh, freshman class able to really take advantage of that. Yeah, I, I am definitely wondering whether the fact that this freshman class team, obviously so many players from Pixel in this roster who have played together before, again they had to play through trials as well. Mm. Maybe as a team they've just had a little bit more time to gel. Maybe over the course well, of they Contenders definitely have. season two. They've been able to improve. We've seen that, that Pixel had a pretty slow start in Season 2. But this is a really great start for FMC this time around. Yeah, definitely. Pixel was definitely not the worst team in mm. Season 2. And we did, like I said, see some uh, improvement toward the end of the season from them. So it's been pretty impressive what they've shown us so far today. And i got to say, I think this is better than what they looked like last season. Uh, obviously, a bit of a different meta. Uh, we are seeing them being able to really take it to Heist, which is comprised mostly of players that were able to make it into the top four of either this season or the last season of Contenders. The only ones being the difference there is Dewboy and Bus. Dewboy, of course, coming from the former Pixel. Bus from Bin Chickens last season. So two players that were toward the bottom of the standings last season. But by and large, Heist has got some very experienced players in that roster. And right now, they're really being put under the pump by freshman class. They really are. And to be fair, this Group B has the potential to be the much more difficult group. Mm. Yes, you you don't have the drop bears in there, but if everyone else is so close, there is a serious potential for this to be very, very close across the season. And maybe by the end of next week, Jordan, we're going to be looking at Group B and saying, we're not really sure who's going to come out of this on top. That would be classic, wouldn't it? Because yeah. that's exactly what happened in Season 2. Serenity were able to really be a lot more impactful than we thought mm. that they were going to. And that kind of threw Group B into disarray. Once again, Group B looking a little bit interesting even after only our first match. In fact, our first match isn't even done. Route 66 here has to be a win for Heist. Otherwise, they are going to be dropping their first game. And for a team that uh, is comprised of these kinds of players, it's really not an acceptable result. No, it, definitely a surprise so far. Again, I'm not sure whether it's uh, coming down to Heist not playing as well as they could have or whether FMC are just gelling so well together and finally, you know, all those components uh, are, are doing what they need to do. Everyone in the team is, is fulfilling their role. They know each other well enough and they played enough Overwatch together now that as we get to the end of 2018, this is where they're starting to pick. This is where they're starting to play at least as well as they think they should be able to play. Yeah, definitely. Well, Route 66 time. I don't know about this one, Heist. Every time we've sort of seen something similar, I mean, when you look at Numbani, you kind of feel as though there's a bit of high ground to play around with there for them. It's always a little bit up in the air. Uh, and I don't know, it hasn't necessarily worked out so well for Heist so far, past obviously Busan, where they've essentially just been able to brawl things out. Mm. Uh, now when we sort of go on to the payload phases, this is where freshman class really had such a big impact. It, it's, it's For me, it's where where one team has been able to get momentum, which is essentially, mm. at least in, in a control map, you, you know, you gain momentum, you lose momentum. At a worst, you lose one round, while here, it, if you get momentum and you progress through that round, that gives you an advantage for the next round should you have to go again. And that's where we've seen high struggle here. So, Heist on attack, freshman class on defense. We're going to see what we saw early yesterday, Jordan, this very early push coming down yep. right on top of the payload, not waiting for big girls. The defensive setup's very, very different now because of the meta. It's a much more favorable place to fight out with the GOATS composition just because of all of the, the flat space as opposed to the high ground of big girls. You would normally take. Oh, Heist is going to win a very solid fight there. Yeah, they certainly will. Big picks coming across the board for them, and yep. really quite a convincing victory to kick this one. Much better off. focus fire. That's what you need to see out from Heist. Get the shield bash, get the stun onto probably in that case Virginia early on in the piece and shut him down, and then the rest fall behind. Good offensive positions being 
taken up right now by Heist as they do take control of Big Girls. They take control of that high ground. Much more dive potential now onto the back line for Heist. But once again, another fight will ensue. Both the bubbles out from the two Zaryas. And this is where we'll start to see players potentially drop. No focus being strong enough just yet. Virginia, again, a bubble to keep him alive. Good work from Exodus, but he's stunned up. And there you go. Immediately, the pick found by Heist. Dubois opening that one. Yeah, Heist's going to have all of the ultimates now as well. The payload going to push through to point A, and they should be able to get this very, very quickly. Going to put them in good stead heading into the second phase. And as you said, you know, when you can get that advantage with the ultimate, that's where you want to be. Look at this. One, two, three, four, ready to go. Well, they're going to capture this in just a second and proceed for Jordan. Heist, they've woken up. It's like, mm. hello, Heist, this Heist boss, please wake up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's a pretty interesting analogy, Ben. But they have essentially been able to push through point A very, very quickly. Four and a half minutes is the time bank. You'll be really happy with that right now. Barely even having to invest any ultimates. Really, it just came off the shield bashes from Dubois that were capitalized upon really nicely by Heist. Good focus fire. Freshman class, though, will be able to mount a better defense this time. Waiting for this self-destruct, Jordan. You can just over the top. You can see it coming. You can hear the Graviton Surge in the middle as well. The self-destruct not going to find any kills. And, well, the Grab Surge not going to do much either, to be perfectly honest. The payload is stuck for now. Everyone's still alive. Virginia going to pop the Primal Rage. Bus does not have one available. Maybe freshman class on defense will be able to find the better of Heist here with that very tanky Winston. But as it starts to slow down, Virginia will start to take damage. And you think Virginia going to get picked up very shortly and is there by Duboy. The one-for-one one trade, Locust brings it back, Kaimor goes down. Heist are going to outlast yeah, freshman this. class right now. Kaimor being dropped, Prowlor being dropped. Support's going down is such a big, impactful play for Heist. Again, i got to say, I think Duboy is performing quite exceptionally on the Brigitte right now. Heist reaping the rewards. Bus and Gusto do have those two tank ultimates. No, sorry, Gusto remaking. Bus has got the ultimate. Locus just about to come up on it as well. There's a rally out from Kaimor this time, and it's going to make freshman class a little bit more difficult to delete off the map. That's been their problem, getting picked off. Locus, though, with the grab. Yeah, big grab surge right into the middle of the payload here. Virginia, the first one down. This is precisely what Heist needs to do. If they can follow this up, they're going to have to jump off the payload for now. So that self-destruct does come Kaimor's through, picked. but it won't found anyone. Gusto, yes, going to find the Brigida pushing through. Finds another Dowsu, cleans up bad, and Heist will win this victory. Point B will be theirs. Moving on to the third and final phase here of Route 66 in prime position. Absolutely. Not going to take them too long to get through to point B either. Only a couple of minutes. Uh, they'll get those couple of minutes back as they do cap up. For now, freshman class, they'll swap over onto the Reinhardt. So two will heist, getting into a little bit more closer engagements, a bit more difficult to make the Winston work here. Look how much energy Locus has here, Jordan. Very impressive, up to 100%. Really a, a, can do so much damage here with the Zarya. We saw it yesterday, maybe we will see it again here today. Heist pushing a long way forward. Sound barrier going to be forced out here from Prowl or going to use it early on in the fight, but it won't wow, be enough what a to keep engage. their Reinhardt alive. Virginia down, bad D mech. Brigida goes down as well. Bus, big plays. Locust, big plays. Duboy, big plays. Yeah, exactly as it should happen there for Heist. They saw the sound barrier backed away. A little bit of an overextension then from Kaimor or from Virginia, and it was absolutely punished from Heist. Now they're staggering freshman class as yep. well. It's a 5v6 for potentially the final hold here for freshmen. Not to mention the fact that Heist are coming up on the ultimates just a little bit faster than freshman class. Bus will have the shatter. They need to break that Reinhardt shield right now of Virginia. They will indeed self-destruct, might be able to help out with that one, but a Graviton Surge in the middle. Dalsu going to use the Trance, as will Base God. It's a one-for-one -one Trance trade, and everyone dances around and stays alive, all except for Exus. You oh, can big see the hammer comes through. Big, big Earth Shatter there from Virginia. That's going to be enough to slow down this push. Virginia follows through, gets Locus as well. Going to follow that up on the bus with the hammer. And they will finally stabilize here, Jordan took them all the way through to the end. It's a big stabilization though, Ben, because right now freshman class are having the ultimate advantages. A little bit ahead there for Pad and for Kaimor. Enough to hold on here potentially against Heist, especially for this next fight. Heist aren't really going to be having too many big impactful ultimates. 
Maybe just a dry push out here from Heist. Try and build up some ultimates of your own. Try and waste a couple of defensive ultimates. Virginia caught out Ooh. a little bit. Yeah, caught out in the in the room there, Jordan. But it won't be won't really matter because Bus goes down. Oh, ho, ho. Two big kills coming out now from Virginia. Exos going to follow it up as well. And even though the positioning didn't seem right here from FMC, the results speak for themselves. It's a question of am I stuck or are you stuck with me? Yeah. And for freshman class, I'm definitely class, stuck in here with you, mate. Was the ladder. Heist in that fight. They built up a little bit. There's the Earth Shadow. There is the Graviton Surge very shortly. Same no for freshman class. Looking Probably for another two fights here for Heist. Self-destruct. Let's see if this one comes through. Gets the picks they need to. The self-destructs really, to be fair, haven't done all that much so far today. At least not between these two teams. Graviton Surge here from Locus. Going to capture a number of players. But the Trance... So often it's going to be the saving grace. It's a sound barrier though for Heist that keeps them alive for now. Between those two support ultimates, they will stay strong. But Dowsu finally up. does go down. Exhurst has his own Graviton Surge. Going to follow it through at 80% energy between all of the players here on mm, FMC. Spicy. They will do the damage required, Jordan. Now 45 seconds here on the clock for Heist. What looked like... A very impressive attacking phase of Route 66 for Heist has been slowed down here by FMC. Not enough damage done there by Freshman Class, but now it comes down to my favourite time. It's the Reinhardt battle, Bus versus Virginia. They could be the ones to win this round for their respective side. Bus looking to get that first one across, but needs to get the damage done to the shield first. And Bus is just getting pushed back. Good Ooh. block. Yeah, very good block. That's going to be the play that they want. Virginia very low now. Bust now in prime position to throw at his own Earth Shatter. Quite successful. Kaimor down. X Earth down. Heist, nine seconds on the clock. The payload continues forward here. Uncontested now. Only base god, the last remaining player. Freshman class will still be able to mount one more last ditch defense. Base god at 96% of the transcendent. Same can be said for Dalsu. Please do not drop Virginia at this point. He is going to survive. No, he's not. The oh, Transcendence wasn't there in time. Very sad, poor timing. A little bit unlucky perhaps here for FMC, but Heist are getting the picks that they need, even though Freshman Class spawns so very close to the end of the map, so close to the payload, it probably won't be enough. Base got down, bad is down. Self-destruct coming out from Heist will zone them out. Not so sure about that one, but it won't even matter. Virginia picked up there. The Earth Shatter going to knock him down off his little wrecking ball feet, Jordan. And finally, Heist get it across the line, make their way through the point C. Three and zero is where it's at. But as you take a look at the clock, took all the way through to overtime. Yeah, Virginia probably just pushing it a little bit too over eagerly there. Needed to wait for the rest of his teammates. Base God could have kept him alive. Uh, but Virginia was too far away. Didn't need to be contesting just yet. The point... You know, it still had another second or two before it was going to be fully capped out. In the end, Heist are able to push through, but it is in overtime. Freshman class now will look to mount their own attack. And Heist starting off with Bus on the Reinhardt. Not sure about that. Maybe we'll swap over to the Winston here for the first point. Depends on what kind of a strategy Heist do want to go for, but a bit of high ground to play around mm. for point A. But Bus. A little bit more comfortable on the Reinhardt, I think, than on the Winston. FMC so with a possibility to close this out here, Jordan. Need to get it, get it themselves a good time, be successful, make the uh, get the payload all the way through to the end. Could be a three-one for them. It could, and that would be pretty surprising to me. Yeah, it would be a, a fantastic start for their contenders' season three battle. It's what you want to see. For these players, they they fought hard through season two, got some okay results at least in game, but the mm. results overall, uh, you know, certainly didn't get them through to finals or anything like that. Oh no! So this time around, it's a different story. Playing for a lot here in season three, looking towards 2019. Yeah, is it the season of the freshmen? We'll see. For now, they just need to focus on finishing off Route 66 heist. Will pose again a forward defense. And it's a nice place for Bus to be playing around. Not a whole lot that freshman class can do to get through him, but he has been isolated. Oh, That's huge. Kaimor getting the shield bash. Yep. That big, big play. Is Bus going to go down now? No Reinhardt available here. But Heist follows up with two crucial picks of their own. Going to slow this down and force FMC back into the diner. Going to have to restart. Every second is very valuable here, Jordan, because 
Heist only got through in overtime. They do not want to see FMC manage to complete Route 66 with time left on the clock. Swap over from Virginia, matching the Reinhardt for the Reinhardt. That seems to be the play of the day. Virginia, Ooh. though, is going to go down. Bus so will fly off the edge. Has gone for a little bit of a wayward charge there. This gives a chance now over to freshman class. Does the Transcendence coming out from FMC Base God with crucial timing going to allow them to pick up Dubai as well. But Locust now, the ultimate available win. Is it going to be used? Is he going to hold on to it for now? Is it needed? Throws out the Graviton Surge, but Base God actually going to find two. Bad and Kaimor are going to combine to pick up Gusto. The payload continues. Yeah, a little bit of a throw there from Bust. He thought he was the magic school bus and could fly, but unfortunately he is just Bust. And it's goes off the, the edge. Bus, mate. And uh, <laughs> in the end, Heist no balloons. are able to... He's not losing that fight. Freshman class pushing on forward, but he still be able to mount another defense here. They will. This is a little bit slower here from FMC than what we saw from Heist. The Graviton Surge maybe is going to speed things up. <laughs> Everyone caught on the top of Big Girl. And it's actually Bad who finds two of the tanks. A big self-destruct coming out there. Gusto with not a half bad one, to be honest, as well. Virginia now with the Reinhardt. Going to swing this hammer around. Does not probably need the Earth Shatter either. FMC going to be successful. Point A will be theirs. The payload moves on forward. 140 on the clock is what we're going to see heading into Phase 2. Freshman class using all but the Earth Shatter that was available to them. They didn't need it. Now, getting into point B, about the same time bank as what Heist had here. Maybe a little bit less. Looking for a bigger shatter here from Virginia. That one going to be blocked straight away, though, by Bust. The timing not quite correct on the combo between the Brigida and the oh. Reinhardt. Virginia will be punished for it, wasting his ultimate. Close, but not no, no cigar. Also decided to try and charge through there. Gets kind of pushed out of the way. And Urshatter coming back here from Heist. But it doesn't matter. They're losing players left, right, and center. FMC doing very well here. The payload will push forward mm -hmm. into phase number two. You can see three minutes 30 on the clock. They used about 40 seconds to get through the archway, but now they have the advantage. Yeah, two support ultimates used by freshman class to keep themselves alive in that fight, but it allows Virginia so much ultimate charge back up to 70%, even despite using the Earth Shatter in that last fight. Heist again, going to try and mount another defense, but this time things are looking a little bit more worrisome for them. The one saving grace could be Locust, again yeah. with a Graviton Surge. No support ults for Freshman Class 2, defend against it. Yeah, Rally has been used, Grab Surge and Self Destruct coming through. Are we going to find the kills? Big kills, to be honest, but none of them from the Self Destruct, Jordan. It doesn't matter, FMC going to pick up a number of players, only Bus remains, and I don't even think he's in the fight, he's the first one to go down. So. Looking very, very strong right now is FMC. They're going to pick up point B with the payload. Third and final phase remains mm -hmm. for them. They're going to have a bit of time on the clock to do it as well. Again, it's this the same. This was the point where Heist struggled. This is where FMC can take the advantage. They have the same amount of time as what Heist did, but it took Heist so many fights to try and get into point C. This time it might be a little bit more of a struggle. Heist, what are they doing? They've gone for an aggressive defense. Wow. This is uh, an interesting play, Jordan. Let's see if it works out for them or not. Bust, Dubois both down. Bad just chilling here with D.Va on the payload, continuing to push it forward. The rest of Heist turns around to try and deal with it, but will get picked up from behind as FMC push on through the payload. Nears the final corner, the final straight, 100 meters remain. Yeah, and Heist investing so much. The self-destruct, the Graviton Surge, neither of which really had much of an impact. Freshman class, they've come up with a free fight win. And now Prowlor with the sound barrier will start to push his team forward. Kaimor has the rally. So much sticking power, so much sustain for freshman class bus in this next coming fight. Sound barrier going to say bus, but now you can see that bus will use the, uh, the Earth Shatter, I don't even know if managed to pick anyone up in that, Jordan. Bad has the self-destruct. Exus has the Graviton Surge available as well. Let's see how these are used. Self-destruct over the top. Unfortunately, won't find anyone this time around. Kaimor down to bust. Finally, Heist. Looks like maybe they're going to find the picks they need. Base God uses Trance, keeps the team alive. The payload Ooh. going to be contested here very closely to the end. Everyone, six players on either side, but Prowler goes down again to the Reinhardt, and Heist, that's the team right now that has the uh, the advantage when it comes to ultimates. Gusto, going to find some crucial kills. Just slow this down a little bit. Exus going to be a little bit disappointed by that. It was a big grab, but the follow-up just not enough. 
Too much sustain coming from Heist and not enough to do the damage for freshman class. Now, like you say, Heist are in with such a massive advantage here with only two minutes on the clock. Freshman class starting to look a little bit dire for them on Route 66. They may not even finish here if Heist can rotate their ultimates correctly, get the grab combo with the self-destruct in one fight, get the Reinhardt Shatter in another. Here's yep. the grab combo. Lots of opportunities to Gusto. Oh, man. Well, you've got to give credit to Bust there as well as he charges the shield out of position. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is uh, that is very much up there for our Mac as player of the game. That is for sure. I do love myself a good hole in one, Jordan. But it is. It's all about the team fight and teamwork. Normally, a self-destructor on its own will not find all those kills. And Heist has a ton of uh -oh. ultimates still available here. The Earth Shatter not having the Neither impact shatter. that it needs. Space God continues through bad with a self-destructing good position, but not going to find the kills, unfortunately. Just safe in the nick of time there by Heist. Kaimor down, Virginia down. Freshman class finally, I was going to say, might be able to get something going, but it's not going to be the case. Heist is the team getting the picks, and Virginia mm -hmm. and bad. Well, they're going to be stuck in there for spawn for now. 60 seconds on the yep. clock. Locus, Ice looking good, mate. Locus again going to be playing aggressively here, trying to build the Graviton Surge up as much as possible before this next fight does start. It's really a race as to who can build their ult a little bit faster. Rally now out from Kaimor. Last chance here for Freshman Class. They need to make this push work. They'll get it in overtime, but at least that gives them a chance to win here and now. Yeah, 40 seconds on the clock. Heist with two big ultimates, make that three available now for them. When are they going to use a grab surge? The first one coming out from the Zarya. Kaimor going to go down to Gusto as well. It doesn't even matter, Jordan. Heist stopping them in their tracks. With 20 seconds on the clock, they will get one more reset. Mm, just in time by the looks of things there for freshman class. I thought that the fight might go too long for them to get a committed push. And in fact, they might still not yet get a committed push. With 10 seconds on the clock, who is going to touch? It's going to be right now onto Prowler, I think, on the Lucio to get in there, get the contest onto overtime. But oh, he Virginia. is going to have to sacrifice his life. Very close, very, very close indeed. The grab surge comes through, but it doesn't matter. Heist is the team with the picks, Jordan Heist. We'll pick up Route 66. We're going to be at 2-2. Two and two. We're going to map 5. Absolutely. First tiebreaker of the season in the first week. Who can be disappointed by that one? Heist will not have any problems there on Route 66 as they hold quite convincingly, actually, on the point C. Very good stuff. Very good alt rotations coming out from Heist there. A little bit more fundamental kind of mm. correctness from them this time as opposed to just throwing things out willy-nilly hoping for the best uh, a couple of graviton surges that go out from freshman class not really being able to actually have the impact and no. while they were good no. in terms of collecting a lot of the highest members they just didn't manage to punch through those extra healthy tanky tanks yeah it felt like that uh, heist was staying alive long enough in those fights mm. that they were building up the ultimates time and time again. So even when that Graviton Surge came out from FMC, they had something there to defend against it. Yeah, absolutely. For Heist at this point, now they have to think about Nepal, which should be the tiebreaker map. There isn't really any team that gets to choose this one. Obviously, it wouldn't be fair to have a tiebreaker map being the choice. It's actually kind of interesting now, Jordan, as we head back to Control. Mm -hmm. uh, when we saw Control the first time around, Heist really seemed to have FMC's number. But now we've gone full circle back towards the end of the game. Everyone's warmed up. Everyone should be at their peak here. Are FMC going to play this differently? Are they going to be more effective than when we saw them on Vassan? I want to see this once again. Was it the shield that did get charged? Yes, it was. Great work from Bass. Oh, wow. Great work from everyone on the team, but Bus yep. is the one there that's managed to push the shield out of the way with the Reinhardt. That's where that big combo comes from. Uh, yeah, Nepal, I mean, the question for me here, obviously, for, for freshman class is, are they going to be able to contest a little bit better than what we saw on Busan? I think it has taken them a little while to actually get their way worked into this series, so I do think it should be a little bit closer here on Nepal, but it does concern me a little bit that it was a pretty solid 2-0, actually, for, for Heist. And mm. I think I'm still leaning on the side of Heist here. I do still think that they are the stronger side of individuals. I think they should be able to close this out. But a 3-2 for them uh, may be a little disappointing result if they do actually end up winning. And certainly a disappointing result if they do end up losing. Yeah, absolutely. If you're FMC right now, you are feeling very good about this. They've come through starting their season strong, even if they don't get the victory here. They've got two map wins already on the board. We mm. know how important 
that the for and against can be as you get towards the end of the season trying to make it into playoffs. It's not bad. I mean, I think looking back at last season, again, I don't have the exact numbers right in front mm. of me, but I'm pretty sure Pixel was able to get four maps uh, throughout the entire season, four map wins, but they didn't get a series win. So if they get even two maps today, if they get a win today, that's phenomenal. That's already an increase on what they were able to achieve last season. Uh, having a look, it is, of course, going to be Nepal, as I expected. Uh, for freshman class, though, they're already starting off well. I have faith, Jordan. I think FMC is going to win Nepal. All right. I think they are going to beat Heist here. Just for the sake of being different, I'm going to go with uh, Heist. To be fair, though, I would have gone Heist had you asked me anyway. Uh, Not only is is uh, freshman class going to win, they're going to win 2-0 right now. All right. And they're going to put a, a nice little exclamation mark at the end of this victory. Would be a pretty big deal for freshman class. Mm. For a lot of these players... They did struggle last season to have a lot of success and to start off in week one with some pretty reasonable success, especially against uh, what is actually on paper first seed here for this group. Heist did take the first seed slot, though uh, I wouldn't necessarily consider that they are going to be the highest seeded team. The, the heistest At the end team. of the season. The highest. It's probably order heistest. in my mind. Yeah, probably right, probably right. But look... Maybe this is just a matter of, of freshman class actually being stronger than we uh, gave them credit for. So, one last map here remains in our first matchup of day number two. It is Group B, freshman class up against Heist. It all comes down Ooh, to the ball. It's not going well for Ooh, Heist at Heist's all. Heist's going to lose two crucial players to the Brigitte straight away. Mm -hmm. And FMC going to guarantee them, uh, themselves to capture here. All you had to do was keep your eye on the health bars there of Heist. And you saw Bus get very, very low, well below half. The same for Dewboy. Freshman class were all very healthy at that point, And they were able to clean things up very easily in the end. So Heist just not outputting that damage that they needed to. Boy, again, it's going to get pretty low. Good start here for freshman class. Certainly better than what we've seen already from them on control today. Busan didn't go very oh, nicely Virginia. their way. Low, but saved here, Jordan. By bubble. the bubble. Going to be saved once again. A lot of heals coming out onto the Reinhardt. Eventually, Duboy does get the better of the Reinhardt there. Dowsu onto Exurst as well. This fight going a little bit better now for Heist. Getting yet another pick. It's going to go across into their favor. They should be able to pick this up shortly. You can see... Heist sitting on two ultimates as well. Virginia going to be ready with the Earth Shatter though next time around. Always scary when you get to low HP on a Reinhardt and there's a Brigida standing right in front uh -oh. of you. That is exactly what occurred for Virginia. He was able to just burst through that shield even despite it being held up by Virginia. And Bus throwing out the Earth Shatter. Does mean in this fight that he does not have it. So we're looking for the combo. Kaimor and Virginia here shutting down Bus, shutting down the rest of Heist. They need to be very careful of that. Oh, oh looking for a big Earth Shatter. Me. Not actually going to find anyone. Not finding anyone with the charge either. Charging his way all the way through to Rockets in the back from Gusto. Well, another fight we're going to go across to Heist. Going to put them in an advantageous yeah. position here, particularly with these ultimates. That's an awesome boot from whoever hit it onto Virginia. It would have either been Dewboy or Jungle Jazz, I have to assume. Uh, either way, they're able to push him far enough away that the Earth Shatter can't do anything, even though it can climb up the stairs. He was just too far away from the Heist roster and also gave time for Bust to get the shield back up. For that fight, great stuff from Heist. And a nice shutdown. Where is that? Yeah, the Graviton Surge coming out from freshman class. Not going to find the picks that they want. However, Self-Destruct now going to come out. Not going to find any kills there either. Sorry, this is FMC's Graviton Surge. The last one was from Locust, and this one a lot more successful. Going to find a number of picks, and maybe at 70%, this control point could go back across to FMC. With Dubois going down, one would think it is inevitable here. They're doing what they can just to slow it down, get those extra couple of percentage points. <laughs> Jungle Jazz with the skates up in the roof. That's not how gravity works. Yeah, but just getting himself a couple of extra tip ticks there for Heist. Obviously losing Bust very early on in that mm. fight, and you can see how things collapse once the main tank is down. Once the Reinhardt shield is gone, all that little poke damage becomes much, much more relevant as it's not going into the shield, it's going into actual heroes. Heist looking for another re-engage now off the back, probably of Bust's Earth Shatter. Jewboy pushing forward, but the positioning not so great there for Bust. And Heist too far away. Dewboy did get the shield bash onto the Reinhardt, but freshman class 
Holding very nicely behind this pillar. Not giving the opportunity over to Bust, but there it is. Oh, oh. too late! A little bit unsuccessful there, and Dubois going to be caught out by Kaimor. Grab Surge coming through from Locust once again, but not getting the picks this time around. Base God and Prowler both using their ultimates here to try and keep the team alive. Self-destruct coming out from Gusto will finally find the Lucio here. Virginia down as well. That's a good pick coming out from Heist. A self-destruct from FMC. Oh! Picks up Jungle Jazz and Locust and Gusto d -mecked. This might be enough to get them across the line. Heist was so close but no cigar. Yeah, that's what happens when your main tank is dead. Bust with no shield available, obviously respawning, and the self-destruct. Oh, such an impact. The Graviton Surge combo, too big there from Freshman Class. They do start off with a win on the board, Ben, the 2-0, maybe still oh, yeah. a possibility here. Well, they do call me Australia's number one esports analyst, Jordan, and when they say they when, do. When you say they, what you really mean is you call that to yourself. You look in a mirror, you're like, damn, you're the best I look down analyst. the camera and I say, hey there. All right. Look, mate, if I get one one prediction right all season long, I'll be happy. Let's go with that. But neither of us, I think, would have picked FMC 3-2 over the start Heist of this. here. No. Heck, we wouldn't have picked Heist 3-2 over FMC mm -hmm. either when we started off the day. And one of those results will be a reality in just a moment. Definitely. Wow. Change up in terms of the composition for Heist. Bust is going to go on to the Winston. They don't want to take a face-to-face -face battle against Freshman Class, but that is exactly what they will have to do as Freshman Class have situated themselves on the point. And they'll just sit there saying, come on, Heist, come fight us. We have a Reinhardt and you don't. Yeah, exactly. The big Reinhardt shield, a big advantage right now here for FMC. On the point for now, it's going to unlock in just a second. Gusto D. Mex, see you later. Locus goes down as well. And this first fight going to grow across to FMC here on uh, Village Jordan. Looking very strong right now. Definitely. Freshman class popping off at the moment. Virginia, such an impact there. The charge, catching Gusto out of position. And then once Gusto is isolated, Heist has to back away. A little bit of a failure of the team composition there from Heist as they do run into... Um, Reinhardt without their own, and so Bus is going to change things up, but it does put him about 80% behind in terms of the Earth Shatter. Virginia almost caught off here, though very low, but does get away for now. Does Kaimo the first one to go down here. Heist doing what they can. They want to get back onto the point, up to 26% now for FMC, but trying to fight this one out without Brigida is certainly tough in such an enclosed environment. Prowler down, Virginia down. This fight going to go across to Heist to start things off. They'll swing it back about 45 percent yeah even though virginia did have the earth shatter in that toward the end it's much harder to get a good earth shatter off when your brigida is down so a crucial pick out from heist will result in more or less a free win mm. and a lot of time for for example bus who did just swap over to the reinhardt to catch up to his counterpart virginia the next fight Look barely even six ultimates jordan for fmc right now yeah but a lot of big ones about to come up for heist as well it's just a matter of holding off for the next 10 seconds or so until locus gets the grab until the sound barrier comes out yeah, looking for a crucial Graviton surge here from Exos. Everyone's staying alive, but it's Virginia the first one to go down. Locus going to be the one to find that pick. Now life is very tough here for freshman class, Jordan. Graviton, no. It's just the self-destruct here. Oh! Yeah, Gusto. It is the Graviton surge from Locus that sets it up. Mm -hmm. And the self-destruct finishes it off from Gusto. Like I said, it really was a case of Heist having to hold out 10 or 20 seconds. And that was when they get the powerful ultimates up, both Bus and Virginia charging their ults up in that fight. Actually, I don't think Virginia used his, but Buzz definitely did. Yeah, Virginia went down, I think, very, very early, and that was what allowed, really, that fight to go the way of Heist there. They're up to 60% themselves now here on Village. They have the advantage. Bus goes low, stays alive for now. Oh, Ooh. big Earth Shatter coming out from Virginia. Going to catch almost all of Heist out. Bust down, Dubois down, freshman class. Going to try and bring this back. Virginia does get picked up by Dalsu, but it's a consolation pick here, Jordan. Up to 80% of freshman class. Going to bring it back across to their side of things. Yeah, at this point, it's just a case of who can execute the Brigitte Shield Bash Earth Shatter combo with the Reinhardt. And so far, here on Nepal, that has been freshman class. Virginia has been able to get the better of Bus with the Earth Shatters multiple times now on the first. And then there you can see on the second point as well, Heist really struggling now. Mr. Ultimates, you're not coming up as quickly as what freshman classes are. 
Tempo definitely favoring freshman class as they start to regain control, start to catch up in terms of the percentages. They should be able to get ahead at the very least before this fight is over. Yeah, look, one, probably two fights remaining here. We'll see what FMC can do. Heist walking onto the point, trying to bring it back. Not going to be given across them straight away, but Kaimo the first one to go down. Bus follows it up. Reinhardt down now for FMC. Self-destruct coming out. Not going to get any picks. Heist with uh, a big, big shield coming out from Jungle Jazz there. Freshman class did get ahead, but only just up to 84% compared to the 82. Heist are going to clean this fight up. Base God. Well, he's essentially <laughs> shielded himself with the transcendence, but yeah. hasn't really helped out the rest of his teammates there. And in fact, I don't know if anyone could get on this point in time. Overtime actually is secured there by Kaimor, but this is going to be the round for Heist. There is no two questions about that. Freshman class just having to stagger on and bust with the Earth Shatter to finish things off. 100% to 84, very close indeed. Now we're one, one apiece. And freshman class. Just comes down to this one final round. Well, Jordan, we are one hour and 45 minutes in to this first match of Group B, and it all comes down to Sanctum. It's it. Just this. Whoever wins this round... Who can the execute their composition better? It's not a case of who can counterpick who, who chooses the right heroes. They're both running the exact same thing, and they pretty much have been throughout all of Nepal. It's just a question of who can make those shield bashes more impactful, which Brigitte is going to open things up for their team, which Zaya is going to be able to keep their team alive with the impactful bubbles. One round, the difference between a win and a loss now for these two. It is indeed Elfish Guy. These two team comps looking very, very similar right now. Going to take the fight to Heist right up here as they come out of the hallway. Control point unlocking in 10 seconds. Everyone just trying to find that first pick, and it's Kaimor going to go down first to Gusto. So putting FMC at a disadvantage. Heist continuing oh. to push through. Fast nearly got booped off the edge. Got to be careful, Jordan. Got to be careful indeed. It's a very, very long way down. Exos picked up as well, and Heist getting the picks they need here to bring the control point across to their side of things to kick this off. Yeah, nice start. Exos going down pretty early on in the piece there with no Zaya. What can you do? This freshman class, but back away. Locus again on the charge forward, looking for the right clicks, looking to get that Graviton Surge built up before the fight does kick off in earnest. Look, they pushed a long way forward, will get separated, but it allows them to come back again. Heist tick, tick, ticking away up to 20% right now. Still looking for the first pick of this second fight. Locus has a Graviton Surge available, throws it out straight away. And this is prime position for a self-destruct to find a number of kills. Extra Prowler, Kaima, all gone. Bad says, see you later as well. The freshman class going to start stacking their ultimates because they need to win a fight. Yeah, nice to have won a pretty clean one there. Using a little bit, four ultimates, but mm. able to keep the sound barrier, able to keep the primal rage good for staggering onto that point, just stalling time. And that's really what Heist want to do at the moment, even if they do lose the fight. Just build up that percentage. It doesn't matter yeah, if the fight is rage, lost. So good here as well on Sanctum. You can knock them straight into the pit, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Freshman class going to pile onto the point here at 60% for Heist. Graviton Surge going to come out on... The uh, freshman side right now, Locust going to go down to bad in the self-destruct. Actually finds Gusto's mech as well. This fight going to go in FMC's favor, finally. But they have let Heist get very far ahead right now. Oh, Jungle Jazz and Prowlor. Bit of a traffic jam between the Lucios, and that is going to result in the death of Jungle Jazz. Oh, that's 76%, though. You're not disappointed by that at all no. for Heist. That's going to give you another two or three fights before freshman class really do manage to catch up. So a lot of time here for Heist to regain ultimate control, uh, not necessarily regain point control, but at least set themselves up for a very good fight when it really matters. Heist is going to get back into it here. Virginia with the Primal Rage potentially looking for a safe place to dive on in and knock them all into the abyss here, Jordan. On top of the support, the prime position to start. Primal Rage now is popped. Going to get knocked back there by Dubai. Nice play coming out from there. Dow, so you can see, still has that trance available. Virginia actually going to go down to Gusto. So even with that Primal Rage, it's not going to be enough. Freshman class, we're looking low. Base God doing what he can. It won't be Eden, enough. Somewhere. Booped off. See you later. Kaimo out. Self-destruct comes through. The point is going to go back across to Heist here, Jordan. 
And considering they're already at 76%, freshman class are going to have one more shot. And considering Bad ate the Graviton Surge of Locust there as well, think of how convincing that fight could have been for Heist had the Grav actually managed to connect. 81% now starting to tick up. One final fight here is the only option for, for freshman class, but they just have literally nothing to play with. They need to build ults in this fight. They're going to have to deal with the Sound Barrier, the Primal Rage again. Heist have been rotating their ult economy very, very nicely. Bass is going to engage, try and look to boop some players off, and that could be the end of freshman class Virginia if that occurs. So low. See you later. Jungle Jazz going to finish that one Time off. Sound ticking. Barrier comes out. We're into overtime here, Jordan, but Heist looks like they're in prime position to pick up Sanctum here and to pick up this match. Bus goes down, Jungle Jazz trades it back, Graviton surge from FMC. Will it be enough? Self-destruct coming through from Heist, trying to hold it back, but FMC, they're starting to send the tide. They're turning the battle. They're going to pick up the point. They're at 54%, Jordan. They need to hold it the entire way through. Very tough now for freshman class, but at least they have that chance. It's always a kind of a game of catch up now for freshman class, even when it comes to the alt economy. Look at how far, far behind they are at the moment. Dalsu does have a transcendence. Freshman class, again, so many players with absolutely nothing here. All it takes is one mistake out from freshman class, and Heist are going to win it. This time, Heist are going to take a pretty committed push in, actually, Virginia as Virginia will down. be focused. Yeah, so low the first time was Virginia the first one to go down in the last fight. This time around, it's bad that it looks low, but they're still staying alive for now, trying to build up as much ultimate charge as humanly possible. Up to 90%. Base God is gone. Jungle Jazz with a big play with the right click. The boot, very, very strong in this type of situation, as we said before. Oh, Brown locked down. Locust going to get knocked out there by Virginia with the Primal Rage, Jordan. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Bust pops a Primal Rage of his own. 99-99. The winner of this wins the matchup. Self-destruct onto the point, but it's Bust who's been making the big plays for now. Bus is still alive. Bus is still on the point. Heist in perfect positioning. They will be able to pick this up. Yeah, just coming up on the ultimates a little bit sooner than freshman class. Kaimor swapping over to the Doomfist, a last ditch attempt, but the swap is going to come out and freshman class won't have a real attempt at retaking this. Virginia to buy them some overtime. Exus as well gets on, but that'll be that. And Heist will finish things off with a three and two. Elfish Guy, Group B is going to be Absolutely insane if it's anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to schedule Group B days to be twice as long as every other day. Yeah. Going all the way through to the tiebreaker, all the way through to Nepal, all the way through to the final round of the tiebreaker. The heist to bring it back. That game started so differently to how it kicked off in Busan like two hours ago. Yeah. Very impressive from both teams. But in the end, experience seems to play out. Has been quite a marathon series indeed. Experience just a little bit more there for Heist, and they do finish things off. I think it, it definitely could have been a lot cleaner from Heist there, to be honest. Freshman class really gave them a run for their money. I'm expecting to see Heist do a little bit better than that, though, later on down the season. Maybe that's just first day jitters, a bit of pressure maybe on them in this matchup to, to perform. Obviously, some great stuff out from freshman class as well. Exus looking pretty good. I thought he was a little bit weak early on on Busan, uh, in particular on the, the Zarya, but that seemed to fix itself later on down the track. Virginia had a pretty good battle against oh, Bass. Dear, the tanks, uh, always exciting to watch. Uh, yeah. But for me, freshman class could have just as easily won that one as what Heist did. It was just coming down to the wire toward the end there with the ults on, uh, on Nepal. Really, it's got to be a very stinging defeat, though. You you went all the way and they it comes did. down to you yep. know one final yep. fight both of you at 99 percent and they even had they even took village control point first yeah so they had the advantage coming through they were one nil up in nepal mm -hmm. but as as i said before maybe the experience here from a team like high so many of these players uh doing quite well in season two of contenders maybe that's enough maybe they finally started to gel together towards the end whatever it may be it didn't matter, they pick up the win. But I just want to say a very exciting game. A big thank you to both of these teams because, mm. to be fair, Aussie contenders across the last couple of seasons, not all of the games have been close.
but that was great. That was definitely a very close one. Uh, I think both teams are going to go back to the drawing board and really sort of kick themselves a little bit uh, for some of the mistakes that they would now be able to see that they have made. I'm sure if you look back on uh, the replays, any individual player there is going to be able mm. to find a moment where they might have been able to turn the tide of a battle and that could have potentially resulted in the series win because of how close this series was. Uh, End of the day, though, it's a win on the board for Heist. Maybe not a super solid, convincing one, no. but a win nonetheless, and that's really very important. If you get to even three wins in the season, you uh, probably assure yourself at least a place in playoffs, and that's one out of three so far for Heist. It certainly is, and they'll get it across the line in the end. Jordan, the thing I'm most excited for, though, is our Maccas play of the game. Let's take a look at what it will be. A McDonald's Australia play of the game between Heist and Freshman Class. It's going to be Diva Jordan, my favourite. Self-destruct from Gusto, combines with Locust, combines with Bust with a very big charge. Picks up five, picks up the Diva D-Mech, and then we see Bust come through with the hammer to clean up the baby Diva in the end. You say Diva, I say Reinhardt. Maybe that's the fact because you play a lot of off tank. I play a lot of main tank. I got to sympathize with Bust there, though. A little bit of main tank love. I'm going to give that one to him. He gets my Big Mac. I think you can give yours over to Gusto. Okay, fair enough. Big plays from all of them. You can see how much Overwatch is, mm. a, is a game of team play. It took three players to create what was an epic uh, play of the game, though. So yep. thank you to them. And a uh, big shout out to Maccas for their support. Unfortunately wow. for Locust, he doesn't have anyone sitting on the desk here to barrack for him. So bad luck, Locust. You're going to have to deal with the chicken nuggets. Mate, all you did, all you did, hit the queue. Easy peasy. <laughs> Lemon squeezy. But that is it. Two hours through. It took us so long mm. to get through our first matchup of the day. Elfish guy, we're going to take a very quick break. When we come back, it's Breakaway Esports up against Order. Let's see if that one is as close as this was. To be honest, I don't know if I have enough breath to deal with this again. We'll be back right after this.